Yo what's up guys, this is Hamas here and today I'm bringing you another map review on CSGO. Today we're gonna look at the map DE Coldwater made by Mendaxis. And we're gonna go through the layout of the map, the details and textures, as well as some gameplay. Uh, so yeah, let's get right. to it. So now we are in the T spawn here, where the terrorists spawn. We're gonna look at how to get to the A site, which is that way. How to get to the B site, which is that way or you can go in there and left inside of that house uh, or also the middle which is right in the house or left in that entrance there but yeah let's start with the A site which is this way this is the easiest and fastest way I think either you jump down here walk down here or jump down right there you end up in the same place or you get into this room here which overviews the A site can also jump down here. Uh, so yeah, once you get down here, you get onto the site right away. This is the site, right here. It's pretty cool looking, I'll say. It's pretty. There's also another way pretty here, and that's through. kinda through mid, which I'll show you later. Oh yeah, that's the easiest way to get to the A site. Let's go back to despawn and look at the B site now. Alright, so to get to the B site, you either run all the way with the road to here, but you can also run through, well, here, and you'll come to the same place pretty much. Then you get to this little courtyard here before entering the site. This site feels a little bit like Inferno, I guess, where well, there's actually only one site or one path in and that's this one but yeah here's the site itself there's a little overwatch area up here where you can hold and there's also a way in through mid right here so yeah let's go back to t-spawn once again and check out middle so to get to the middle you have to run either into this house here and go up the stairs or you go left here and come down to the middle. Uh, I'm going to show you this first. This is the window on the A site, which you can also get in through to the site. But yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. So, here you get into the middle, and this is the. I don't know if it is a middle, but I call it the middle because it's kind of in the middle of the map and it has connectors to both sides. Uh, so you can come from either there or this here. And if you go down here, you get to the B site. You can back right them here. And if you go to the right in the middle. So that's. So that's basically it for the layout from the T-spawn. Uh, now we're going to look at from CT spawn how to get to both the sites and also the connectors and stuff like that. So we're going to start off with A again. All you do is you run out of spawn, you take a left, a right, a right again, and then you end up on the site right away. I think there's some cool places where you could actually hold the site though. You just want to hide in here, or even you might make it down there. Oh yeah, that's the A site. Let's go back. Wait, let's go to the B site now. It's obviously a right turn, and then you get onto. You have to choose either to get onto the site itself or onto the top um, overlook area here. So. There's also, if you run right there, there's also a way to get to the middle from here, which is the main path from the for the CTs to get to the middle. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the seat side as well. I think this is a really good pl uh, position to hold the A side from, because you can hold both middle and the the A side at the same time. So yeah, let's take a look at the textures and details of the map next. Personally, I must say that I think the map looks really, really good and that the 
creator has done a great job with mixing the old buildings with the new buildings and water with the land pretty much uh, I also like the fact that he's used different colors for almost every building it doesn't get boring like maps like Mirage and Dust 2 where all the buildings look the same pretty much uh, yeah another thing I like is the fact that the bomb sites look really good and they they fit in with the scenery around it as well like this old temple church area and the the A site at a little square here yeah I just think uh, the map looks very m well made and professional and I think it will I think that it'll fit in CSGO together with other maps. When it comes to gameplay, I think this map is going to have a lot of potential, uh, a lot of smokes and strats. I like the fact that there's open windows where you can smoke, like this one at the B site from the middle. Uh, I also don't think that the, the bomb sites are too far away from either T or CT on respective sides. The ma uh, the middle here is also really cool. It's not like all the other middles where on D2 it's just straight ahead down here. I mean it kind of is here, but you can also have this area right here where you can sneak out through this door here, pretty much. Um, when it comes to the rotation times, I've figured out that it takes about 10 seconds to run from each site to the other. Uh, at least to get a good view over it, like right here then obviously you might not want to go the fastest way every time and that's another thing that I really like with the map is the fact you can get if someone if you're at B for example and they take over A you can easily get behind the enemy line so to speak by going in here and come the way they came in pretty much another thing that I like with the map is the fact that there's a lot of boosts and nice jump spots where you can hide and sit and just hold the sights from like here for example or this one might not be the best one but if you've lost the uh, control of the A site and you're rotating in for B if you get someone to sit on top of you here like this oh well that's a bit high but yeah here you can pretty much see straight into the balcony and the, the site depending on where you stand. So that's pretty much it for the gameplay. I just know that this map, if it gets in the game, that it's gonna be a really cool map to play and a lot of people will like it. Alright, so that's pretty much it. When it comes to the map, I must say that I like it a lot. It's pretty much a 10 out of 10 for me. I like the fact that it's based in a snowy area, so the, the snow gives it a little bit more feel to it. Uh, I also like the fact that he spent so much time on the details and the layout on the map. Uh, yeah, I just think it's gonna be a success if it gets in uh, into the game. So yeah, if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.